how you doing? Great. So, you know, you guys are doing the first in the nation yes. primary election tomorrow. Yes. And I know something's going to happen really, really big in the state of New Hampshire. Yeah. You're going to tell everybody in the country that the Republican primary process is over yeah. and that Donald Trump is going to be the nominee. Yes. Of the Republican yes. Republican. That, that's run. Running for office is a hard thing. You know, a lot's changed since a day before Iowa. And I was in Iowa. It's cold. Like, this is bomb. I'm like in Bombay, New Hampshire. This is great. Yes, man, I'm telling you, no overcoat. It's great. But a week ago, a little more than a week ago, you had four candidates in. Five if you count Asa Hutchinson. Oh, gosh. Asa was count? running. You got to count him. Oh, God. Did you count him? And then, Vivek Ramaswamy, he left the campaign. He said, you know what? There's only one America First candidate in the field, and that's Donald Trump. And look, I'm from Florida. He's my governor. Me too. He's done a great job. But now, he's ended his campaign, and now he is standing with Donald Trump, like all of you throughout this country. We have one little piece of business left to do. Just one. This candidate. Her name's Nikki Haley. And something tells me. Don't, but don't be too upset because something tells me, New Hampshire, she ain't gonna be around for much longer. That's right. tomorrow in New Hampshire, and we are going to give a decisive blow, not just for the Republican Party, but for the United States of America. Yeah. In Washington, where I spend a lot of time now working on behalf of the American people, in Washington, they believe they can go back to the old strategies and the old game plan that leaves you out that steps on your freedoms, that spies on you and your social media, that wanted to look into your bank account. These morons think that you can leave a border open and everything will be fine. These fools believe that they can raise the prices on you and every other American in this country. But I got news for them, New Hampshire, and more, than, more importantly than me, you got news for them, New Hampshire. This November, we're gonna kick Joe Biden out of that White House. <laughs> Joe Biden's terrible presidency, the very worst presidency. He let Jimmy Carter off the hook for how bad his presidency has been. Did you know that we have lost four embassies across the globe? Four. You only hear about Afghanistan. We have lost four. I promise you this. Under the presidency of Donald Trump, our enemies will fear us again. That's right. And peace will be restored to the globe through strength, not through militarism. It's a peace forged when the mullahs in Iran and Putin and Xi Jinping in China realize that there is a commander in chief that puts America and its, so its soldiers first. Right. Yep. And that commander in chief is Donald J. Trump. Yeah. Yeah. A blessing. What are you talking about? America is the greatest thing man has ever created. Amen. Amen. And the only thing greater than America itself is the very people that inhabit this nation, like the good people here in New Hampshire. Yeah. And I'm telling you from Florida and every city I've been to, we're going to save America. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's not just Republicans. 
Republican voters, it's independent voters, it's minority voters. Yes. We're going to put Donald Trump back in the White House. Yes. He's going to be the 46th president and the 47th president, and we're going to make America great again. Yes. Yes.